Welcome to the ever-changing intersection of Young and Eglinton here in Toronto, Ontario, Canada where it's always been construction hell for I would say over a decade now condo construction and LRT construction, they've all, they've all played a damper on the vehicle and foot traffic just greatly affecting this neighborhood and one can only dream of uh, this all clearing up, you know, as we're just, uh, oh, look at this, she, she literally crossed, it was not her uh, lights, and the crossing guard is like right there, but, uh, as the king continue would say, hey people, Alex here, as I just mentioned, in uh, Midtown Toronto, I would say just about a three kilometer ride from uh, where I live. And uh, as mentioned, we're here at the construction disaster that is of Young and Eglinton. And I wasn't sure uh, if I wanted to make a walking video, but uh, since it's much nicer out than before, and with the uh, the uh, air quality alert come to an end, as you guys already know, uh, this week we've uh, we've been under heavy uh, smoke and uh, hazard uh, hazardous uh, quality because of the wildfires in Ontario and Quebec that have made their way down here and even to the uh, northeastern US. I've heard that New York City, uh, maybe New England and other parts of the region, they got it really bad. And the images of it are so surreal. But uh, thanks to the rain we got yesterday and even this morning, that put a damper on it. So uh, <laughs> we got saved. Anyway, we're walking south here on the east side of Young Street. And I think for this one, I'm going to take like various side streets to get maybe to the uh, K. Gartner Beltline Trail. And I'll just end it at the bridge over the uh, subway. Speaking of the subway, there is the Eglinton Station. And that'll be an interchange for V Line 5. Look, there's the Keg and Steakhouse restaurant. I've been here once, at least at this location. Oh, well, this guy's on a moving e-bike sidewalk. And there's the Eglinton Station Bus Terminal. There's a non-service Nova LFS. Probably heading back to uh, the Eglinton Garage. Hyperdog and a nice fountain on this uh, residential complex. Anyway, uh, as I just mentioned, it's partly overcast, but the sun is starting to come back out again. It's about... Uh, what's the temperature right now? I'll check. It is 18 Celsius. I'm not wearing shorts, because originally it was a bit chilly, but uh, I think I'm properly dressed. Uh, of course, whatever am I? I did go out uh, yesterday evening, met with my cousin Richard, and we uh, f filmed a walking video, grabbed some Dairy Queen, hung out for a bit. And uh, you probably might have saw already, but uh, I actually caught one of the TDC's brand new hybrid buses made by New Flyer. It was literally testing on Jane Street, and I could not contain my excitement, so I was a bit full. I was like foaming, so. Uh, the buses have not entered service as of yet, but I did caught uh, Unit 7202, which I think got delivered like a couple, was it like two weeks ago? But anyway, they're, they're going to enter service on Mount Dennis Route sometime, uh, uh, sometime uh, this year. So I'm going to assume the summer, but obviously operators need to get a good training involved. Okay, I want to cross over to the... Uh, I want to head, I want to make a, or rather, I want to head west here along uh, Berwick, and maybe over to, nah, maybe not, because because you don't get a good view of the of a subway anymore with the new substation coming in. So we'll cross over at actually, maybe we'll cross here and we'll take the Hillsdale Avenue pedestrian bridge. How about that? been hanging around here for about uh, an hour now at the Young and Eglinton Center and even like 
walking around casually. There's the entrance to the, uh, for buses at least. A lot of storefronts are along this part of Yang. It's fine that this area is a shit, is a shit show in terms you know, of, of all the construction that's been here. I actually do like this area. It's, there's a lot, there's pretty much a lot to do and uh, and of course you know you're right next to a, uh, the subway and also it's convenient for me because I only gotta take like just uh, technically one bus street but also two if you count the uh, the 109 bus or the uh, the subway. But I also want to catch up on more uh, transit content. In fact, uh, when they're while they were uh, testing the fire alarm in my apartment building, I, I decided to go to Yorkdale. So I did a last minute video and filmed my phone walking to the subway and then riding to Yorkdale and just walking around. And then I filmed, uh, then I refilmed the Coney elevators at the Nordstrom there, which is closing in four days. And then after that, that was I was like, okay, I, I know I didn't spend too much time there, but uh, I wanted to go back home and grab lunch. But when I got to the subway station, I mean, we were it was open, but uh, trains were not uh, stopping there. Or there's no service between uh, Wilson and St. Clair West due to a operational issue. So uh, we, so uh, all that was left was for me to take the 109 back home, which I did. So. But uh, now I'm back out here. It was again. It was raining this morning, but it's a lot better today. And safe with the with the uh, air quality after being under the smell of campfire and freaking uh, smoke, you know. Anyway, this is the uh, line one Young University line. This is the eastern section of line one, which opened in. Well, it was it was. This is like the original part of the line, which opened in 1954. And that uh, substation was not there before, well, years ago. But of course, obviously, I uh, go in there, there's Eglinton Station. And sadly, there's like, I don't see any trains coming. Nope, none at all. I don't really often catch the trains from here because, again, it's so, you're like too close to everything, and uh, it's just, uh, sometimes it's a bit of a pain in the ass with all this construction, you know? But we will get more once we get down to the belt line. And it's actually starting to get hot by the minute with the sun already out. Alright, we'll head over to Duplex. As there might, as, I think I hear some uh, construction going on. This might be the only walking video I'll film. Maybe after this, I'll try and, uh, I know I've already filmed the ride on the 32, but I was on the D branch, I didn't want to get the C. Hopefully on a Proterra. And thanks to Trans -E, I can like literally do just that. <laughs> but it's, can't, it's, it's not guaranteed. I forgot to mention that today's date is the 9th of June, 2023, and it is uh, 2.55. Oh, wow. That is ear piercing. Now, I found the walking video. Oh, great. More construction. Shit. All right. We're just going to we're gonna keep going this way and head over to the next street. I think it was in the early spring I filmed the video. And they didn't do a lot of construction here. Well, that dog is barking, but I can't cheer him over all this uh, construction. Holy shit, that's a lot. I think the next street up ahead is Conlin Avenue. I'll head south down there. And then maybe I'll keep going the entire way. until I hit Oriole Park. Or is it LaSalle's Boulevard that, that uh, oh no, I can actually go directly into, okay. I 
I don't think I've walked through uh, Oriole Park before. But it was back in the lockdowns uh, when we were very limited to like going places. And when I was even starting my channel, I filmed a lot of walking videos along uh, the Beltline Trail. And it was fun, like just walking from home to Young Street and then back. Here's a house that looks like it's being revamped here. I just can't believe it's already the, the sixth month of the year. And we're near the halfway points of 2023. With July coming up. It's crazy. And this is going to probably be a busy month. In terms of me making uh, videos. But I've also applied to part-time jobs. Hopefully I get one of them. And make a, make a few bucks here and there. I just realized I got the camera on the wrong setting. Give me one second. All right, on with it. I had to change the, the dial, so. This is a pretty expensive neighborhood to live in. You can see with all the, the old homes, modern ones as well. And it's true because we're like a neighborhood away from Forest Hill. But this might be Deer Park, I don't know. Remember when, or maybe when we get to uh, Chaplin Crescent, this is Trammer Avenue. LaSalle's Boulevard's right there, maybe we'll take LaSalle's down. Hey, even from this point, I can even like walk home, but nah, I ain't doing that. Also, the other thing too, with uh, rush hour just about begun, just about beginning, there's a good chance I might get stuck on the 32 between Bathurst and Eglinton West, or as an alternative, I can take the 14 home, so. I have no idea what that is in the background. Oh, wow. Nice garden here. Wow. Oh, decked out here. And yep, all the election signs you're seeing, we got a big one at the end of this month. Josh Matlow isn't the only one, there's a lot of others, but except for Saunders, I'm indecisive. I'll probably talk a lot more about that uh, coming up. I mean, I'm still doing like a lot of like, research on our candidates, but they're just really going at it about housing and taxes and shit, you know? Okay, it is really, it's really getting hot by this, by the minute now. And I'm wearing long pants. Maybe I could have brought my shorts, but when I was leaving, it was like 16 now. I guess I'm speaking right now, it's Probably gone up to like freaking uh, 23. Tomorrow I won't need to wear long pants at all, so. And I think this might be Chaplin Crescent up ahead, is that it? No, that's Imperial Street. Chaplin's the next block. And then we'll walk into Oriole Park, and I think I'm gonna, right after that, I'm gonna wrap it up and uh, film some clips for my upcoming subway train compilation, which I've been wanting to bring back for a while. Oh, Metro uh, van is here, probably delivering groceries, obviously from uh, the one at Young and Eglinton.
this weekend. I am going to be meeting with a couple of friends. So, I don't know if I'll, I don't even know if I'll have time to film videos tomorrow. Look at the kids that are starting to go out of school. And hey, look, there's Roots. What the hell? Oh, that's a not in service. Maybe he's starting on the 97. Well, nice little Cadillac there, I think. If it was Route 14, it would have been an NG or OG hybrid. All right, this is a busy street, so I gotta be extremely careful here. Oh, that was quick. Give him a wave. And let's head through uh, the park. Or your park. And the Beltline Trail is also up ahead. So now we've walked like one subway stop as Davidsville Station is literally down the street. It's either I've never been to this park before or the last time I haven't, the last time I've walked through here was like way back in 2020. It might have been, but I can't remember. Damn. Not a lot of kids here. Probably a lot more later. I think I see it. Oh, you can hear the trains going by. I think there might be an entrance to the Davisville yard. Okay, there's a there's a gang of squirrels to my left here of, of this bench. Look, there's a lot of them. Most of them black. Oh, and then some uh, pigeons as well. Oh, he's got his ass to my camera. And then where's the other one? Okay, there you are. Oh, he's got his back turned. Come on, turn around. Okay, well he's eating something now. I'm too far away, otherwise I'd just spend like the next 60 seconds. Anyway, there's the entrance to the Davisville subway yard. It's much it's very small in comparison with comparison with Wilson in North York. That guy was wearing a zoom shirt. But they still do like very little maintenance on the cars here, especially for line four. Because line four trains, they gotta like use uh, line one all the way down to the yard, so. And here is the Bell Line Trail, which used to be an old uh, railway line. So now we're walking east, or currently southeast. And again, I could literally just walk this trail home directly, and then I gotta walk a block north off trail. There's a couple of like office buildings on the east side of Young, but uh, one has just recently got got their elevators modernized, and they used to be uh, Northern. The guy that I'm subscribed to, he already uh, went there, and uh, that was too late, which is a shame, you know. Oh, well, this guy's doing some pull-ups.
and we're gonna wrap this up soon. Yes, tons of cyclists and pedestrians share this entire freaking trail, so a lot of noise coming from the yard. A great spot for fanning, you know, I've done that a lot of times and gonna do some more to add to the compilation. And then, I'm, I don't know where I'm gonna go next. Unless those are trains like moving from one track to another or starting. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's a lot of them. And here we are in the bridge. So this is looking south. A couple of them parked and now this is looking north and we got one, two, three, four X passenger subway cars built by Hawker Siddeley. They they used to be uh, H4s for anybody that remembers them. Unfortunately, I never rode them growing up. But it's great to see them out here. It's, it's so great to see them out here. I am I am aware a couple of T1s have been uh, converted into work cars as well. Look at that guys, we're up close to the H4s. And there's Young Street again. So guys, I think, okay, let's let's end it off here. This mother and her two kids are watching going by. They're, oh look, they're gonna wave. Let's see if he blows the horn. He does it all the time. Nope, all right. I used to do that a lot on Allen Road. Anyway guys, so, uh, I uh, hope you all enjoyed, and thanks if you did, uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, stay tuned for more videos, and check out my efforts as well. Always looking forward to reading your positive comments. And uh, take care, enjoy your Friday, have a great weekend, and I'm going to film some subway trains here at the beginning of afternoon rush hour. Take care, adios, bye-bye.